When you think of a fullback, Brian Leonard was the prototypical player in college. He was part of one of the most influential recruiting classes in Rutgers football history, being a part of the turnaround that saw Rutgers go from one win in 2002 to 11 wins in 2006. The crazy thing is, he almost didn't end up at Rutgers. But who is Brian Leonard? Brian Leonard was born on February 3, 1984, in Governor, New York, which is about 30 miles from the Canadian border. Growing up, Brian was a crazy kid, from going down a metal ladder head first, to riding his bike down the slide, to even attacking Mickey Mouse. Leonard has one sibling, a brother named Nate, who was three years older than Brian. Nate recalls his brother's wild childhood saying, oh man, he was wild. He had no limits, I would say, from ages six to 13. Growing up, Brian absorbed more headshots than Sugar Ray Leonard, and according to ESPN's Joe Starkley, he writes back in 2005, his toughness and uh, enthusiasm were part of the dynamic package he brought to Rutgers, where he has established himself as perhaps the best fullback in the country. When Brian was seven, his brother accidentally hit him in the skull with his driver at the height of his backswing, and Brian didn't shed a tear. He actually started to laugh. One dream the brothers did have was to play on the same football field together. Although Nate is older, Brian's talents had him on the field early. The thought was that they would play together when Nate was in his final year of high school or if they went to the same college to play. Unfortunately, Nate tore his ACL and MCL during the third game of his senior season. The dream of playing together in high school was over, but there was still college football. Nate hurt himself again during his freshman season at Rutgers. He dislocated his left shoulder twice and he still came back to play during his sophomore year and the injury bug struck yet again. During his fourth game, Nate once again tore his ACL, this time in his opposite knee. He hurt that knee again as a junior and was forced to put an end to his football career. The dreams of the brothers to play together were done. Brian Leonard finished his high school career amassing 5,854 yards and a state record 696 points. Along with football, Brian also competed in track and field, competing in the 100 and 200 meter dashes, as well as the long jump. During sectionals, he put up impressive numbers and won both the 100 and 200 meter events. Coming out of high school according to rivals, Leonard was a three-star recruit who was projected to be a linebacker at the college level. Brian was heavily recruited out of high school, far more than Nate. Nate's only ACC or Big East offer came from Rutgers after he had hurt his knee hit the first time. Originally, Nate had offers from Wake Forest, Syracuse, and Boston College, but after his knee injury, they all pulled the offers. Brian was recruited by schools like Penn State. Notre Dame and Syracuse. He decided to follow his brother and attend Rutgers, despite the team's struggles. He watched as Rutgers honored their offer when no one else did. He had always dreamed about playing for Syracuse like his favorite player Rob Conrad, and he also spent 45 minutes in Joe Paterno's office and considered both Penn State and Notre Dame. He chose to play for Rutgers, who had not seen a winning season since 1992 at the time. Brian saw this as an opportunity to thank Rutgers for everything it had done for his brother. Brian also wanted to be there for his brother, who was struggling with being depressed without football. Brian told ESPN, I didn't want to go to a school that already had a tradition and was supposed to win every game. Here, you beat Pittsburgh, the fans are on the fields running around. Every win feels so much better than a win would have at Penn State or Notre Dame or schools like that. During his freshman year at Rutgers, Leonard would rush for 880 yards and 9 touchdowns while also having 488 receiving yards and 5 touchdowns. Against Army, he rushed for 132 yards and a touchdown. Against UConn, he rushed for 184 yards and two touchdowns and finished the year rushing for 138 yards and a touchdown against Syracuse. He would be named a freshman All-American and Big East Freshman of the Year. Leonard would start his sophomore year off with a bang rushing for 150 yards in a win over Michigan State. He finished the year rushing for 732 yards and seven touchdowns while also having 518 receiving yards and two touchdowns through the air. He finished the year as first team All Big East and first team Pro Football Weekly All American. At the start of the 2005 season, Leonard would become famous for the Leonard leap in the season opener against Illinois when he leaped over a defender on a long rushing score. Leonard spoke on the leap telling NJ.com, At first it was instinctual. I would tell myself, What can I do to stop these guys from going at my ankles? I said. I'm just going to try to jump over somebody. The first time I did it, I ended up scoring a touchdown on that play. Ever since then, as time went on, it was more instinctual than anything. When I get to the outside, my first thought is, if a corner is coming at me, I'm going to jump over him. That Illinois game was also when Leonard moved to fullback to accommodate for Ray Rice. 
Leonard spoke on the move saying, that's just what our team was back then. It was a selfless team. It was team first. It wasn't about any individual player. At the time Ray came in, I was a good running back and Ray was a great running back. It was a no brainer. It was my job to move to fullback and block for him. It was better for the team and we showed that in how far we went the next year going 11-2 and, and winning the first bowl game. Leonard finished the season rushing for 740 yards and 11 touchdowns while also having 568 receiving yards and 6 touchdowns helping Rutgers make a bowl game as well. He was once again named first team All Big East and first team Pro Football Weekly All-American. After his junior year, Leonard considered leaving for the NFL draft because he knew Ray Rice would become the featured back and a drop in his stats could hurt his draft stock. Instead, he decided to stay for one more year, which worked out for him because it allowed him to become a better fullback. He would be a key member of the Scarlet Knights team that went 11-2. During Rutgers' biggest game of the season against number 3 Louisville, with the score tied 25-25, Leonard took a swing pass 26 yards on 3rd and 6, signing up the game-winning field goal. Leonard remembers the game telling NJ.com, I remember the whole entire game, the atmosphere leading up to the game, the night before, fans that were sleeping in tents to get their tickets. The whole week was just an amazing week at Rutgers. Leonard still credits off offensive lineman Jeremy Zuta for the block that cleared his path. The game would earn the nickname Pandemonium in Piscataway. Leonard recalled his last home game as well as saying, I remember my last home game against Syracuse. A girl was holding a sign in the stands and I saw it. It said one last leap. Midway through the game, I was on the outside against a linebacker, not a defensive back. I tried to jump him. I actually got my first foot over, but my back foot caught his helmet. I tore up my shin pretty good, but it was kind of cool to see that stuff. Leonard finished his senior year rushing for 423 yards and 5 touchdowns, while also having 294 receiving yards as well. He went on to win the Dratty Award, which recognizes the best player in the country for on-the-field play, academics, and community leadership. He finished his career with the third most all-purpose yards in Rutgers history with 4,643. Going into the 2007 NFL Draft, Leonard would be projected as a day one pick, running a 4-4-9 40-yard dash and benching 225 pounds 28 times. He would be selected by the St. Louis Rams in the second round. In 2009, he would be traded to the Cincinnati Bengals, where he struggled to find a roster spot, which was shown on HBO's Hard Knocks. He would play a support role for the Bengals that season. In April of 2013, he would be reunited with former head coach Greg Schiano with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, while in 2014, he would be brought in by multiple teams during training camp, but failed to secure a roster spot. He would sign with the New Orleans Saints in November, but get released a week later. After he retired from the NFL in 2014, Brian Leonard decided to dip his toes into real estate, starting Red Knight Properties with business partner Anthony Scandariato. Leonard spoke about the transition, telling Rutgers, After I retired from football, I was able to be a stay-at-home dad for two years, which was great. I've always been interested in real estate, so I started to look into that and found a partner who knew a lot about it, especially in multifamily properties, and we started a company in 2018 called Red Knight Properties. My business partner went to Cornell, and obviously I'm a Scarlet Knight, so it just made sense to call it Red Knight Properties. Along with that, back in 2009, Brian Leonard started the Brian Leonard Football Camp, which it still runs today, from what I found. Back in 2016, Leonard was also inducted to the Rutgers Athletic Hall of Fame. Brian Leonard was not just a great player on the field, but off the field, and one of the more influential college football players in the 2000s, for me as a young fan. But what do you think? Is Brian Leonard one of the greatest Rutgers football players of all time? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my other videos right here. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.